CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. Presidential hopeful Robert Kennedy Jr., who is running as an independent, is in Raleigh tonight, hoping to get on the ballot here in North Carolina. To do that, though, the State Board of Elections requires him to get 83,000 signatures. So what's his plan to do that? CBS 17's Greg Funderburg is live for us tonight in Raleigh. And Greg, you had a chance to talk to him. Is he confident he's going to get the backing he needs? Well, Rod, he's very confident he's going to get those 83,000 plus votes, or I should say signatures on that petition to make sure he's on the ballot in North Carolina. And the deadline for that is coming up on Super Tuesday, set for March 5th. Now, of course, when he was speaking to the crowd tonight, he told me he has a strategy to make sure he's on the ballot come November. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next president of the United States, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Hundreds came out to throw their support behind Robert F. Kennedy Jr. We had to open up a new section of this room to accommodate you all, so I'm very, very grateful. He gave these attendees a little backstory of his life and work as an attorney. It's a message some supporters say resonates with them. I think in today's world, you know, with the division that we have, he's the guy who can, I think, unify us best. So. But not all the people crowded in this banquet room supported Kennedy. Kennedy staff escorted Ray McGovern out of the room after the disruption and then got back to his plan to secure over 83,000 signatures on a petition to be on the ballot in North Carolina. We already have 50,000 volunteers in the field. We're building out a, a, a ground game, a ground army. He admits with these volunteers and more coming, he's not concerned he will be on the ballot come November. We will get all of our signatures and then some. Oh, I'm very, very confident that we're going to get all the signatures that we will be on the ballot in 50 states and the District of Columbia. Several people tell me they support Kennedy on issues like vaccine concerns and his fight against corporate polluting. I think it's really easy. There's so many people that want to help get signatures. And one of those supporters say she voted for Trump in 2016. I've always been a conservative. But she's ditching her conservative views to get on the Kennedy train. I'm going to go get and I'm going to go get a thousand signatures. Right now, Kennedy says he is Adam and he is going to get those 83,000 plus signatures on the petition to make sure his name is on the ballot. Again, the deadline is set for Super Tuesday, March 5th. And of course, you can depend on CBS 17. We will continue to follow it all this year, all the way to the general election coming up in November. Rod, back to you. All right, Greg, thanks so much. We appreciate it.